Hello, welcome back to another episode of Bastions and Basilisks, Monsters Edition. Just kidding. Uh, today we're talking once again about the knowledge domain. I'm Calvin. I'm Brandon. I was wondering how long that would take. I don't know. We're, we're talking about my other videos and then it just kind of went out the, the ball. Went, went out the window. Uh, not, we're not again talking about the knowledge domain. I, 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 think, I think I've mentioned the knowledge domain, so it accounts. Um, knowledge domain. All right. Uh, for, for domain no. spells, first level command and identify. Command is a solid spell if it goes off. Um, uh, identify is useful depending on how many magic items you get, but having access to it always is, and it's a ritual. So technically, that's pretty solid. Um, third level spells, or at third at cleric third level, so second level spells. Uh, augury and suggestion. Augury is okay. Suggestion can be good. Uh, cleric level. What is five. augury? That's the like. I'm gonna do this. How's it gonna go? It's like a bone reading. It's like, and then you like you get like, okay. it's either like weave and woe or something like. It's either good or bad or both or none. Like it's it's really. It's not not a terrible spell, but I don't play many clerics, so this is probably why I never heard of this. As a GM, I don't think I would be able to do well with it because that's in a in a realm that I'm not good at. But kind of like somebody doing any kind of for for knowledge information, I'm like, I don't, I don't know, I got nothing. All of you do so my plan ahead. Here. Um. Uh, so third level spells, non-detection, which is okay. Speak with dead. We've seen the usefulness of speak with dead in the D and D movie. Um, was that level, three questions? That's five. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the literalist in me was like, "No, it's five questions." Oh, okay, got you. Um, hello, anybody? Um, at, se at seventh level, they gain arcane eye. I don't remember what that one does. And confusion. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Or that one's pretty easy. Uh, and then ninth level, they get Legend Lore and Scrying. Legend Lore is obviously a better uh, Identify spell and Scrying. That's a... Did not know that. I see you. Oh, Legend Lore? Honestly. Played. Yeah, Legend Lore is... Yeah, uh, not played. There's some... There's like, you can't... Tech, there's some things you can't identify correctly with just Identify. Although what, how I want to do, and this is already sidetracking slightly, is... I don't like that Identify does not find out that the magic item is cursed. If, if you, you know, I never thought about that. Yeah. So how I would do it is, um, because technically you can identify magic items during like a short rest. So if you want to identify without using magic, you just get whatever the magic is. If you identify with the identify spells and you get what, what the uh, um, that it's cursed because like that's the whole point of magic. Anyway, uh, blessings of knowledge. At first level, you learn two languages of your choice. You also become proficient in your choice of two of the following skills: Arcana, history, nature, or religion. Your proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check you make that uses either of those skills. So you gain your cleric and you gain expertise in two knowledge skills. Not terrible. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Honestly, that means that you could use your starting stuff, your starting skills, uh, to choose something else if you right. You know, like perception. Nobody. Perception never hurts to get. It doesn't. I was talking to my friend Scott about it, and there's a uh, in Ghost of Saltmarsh, one of the adventures. Is like for like a level three or four party, I think. And there are two ambushes that you run into in that in on the boat. And one is if you have a passive of fourteen or higher, you you are not surprised. And then the other one is fifteen or higher, you're not surprised. But I'm like, unless you have a really good wisdom, or your and or you're proficient in perception, most characters aren't gonna have a high, like you could be trained in proficiency or in a perception 
and still not have a high enough perception because you don't have a, you know, three wisdom or four, you know, two or three wisdom. So. Yeah. Cause that dude, even if you, unless you have the, the uh, proficiency, just base stat because passive is 10 plus your modifier. So it's like, that's pretty high. Like most people, you don't, or at least because I rolled the two T 20 method, you're not going to start off with anything that's close to a plus five modifier. The highest you can get is what? A 18, 16, yeah. depending on your uh, method. So it's like 17. Uh, if we're going base, how the normal game does it 17. Cause normally you get the array, which is 15. And even with a plus two, you're only at the 17. So I, unless you get to fourth level, you're not going to have a plus four in your primary stat. Unless you're a human, and then is, you get your bonus fee, and it's... Is 46 drop the lowest, not the uh, not a standard also? I think they use the array as a standard, because in the, in like the... Um, Lost Minds of Phandalin, the... the ex, well, it's the law, it's Lost Minds of Phandalin. That was Fandelver. Well, now I need to look. I have the starter set right here. You'll probably beat me to it, considering the fact that I have to get the fucking thing. I dropped a guitar pick. Oh, I guess it is Lost Mind of Fandelver. But the, the city is called Fandolin. We were both right. Oh, I know. How can you be wrong, Calvin? Called... I'm very tired. Oh, knowledge. No, that wasn't meant to be like insulting. It was like an actual like. You're, um, kind of right. Yeah. So the example characters they give you are are use the stat arrays. I, Anyways, yeah, I didn't. I so, so two. You that's all you get though. That's kind of boring. Two skills with expertise. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It, that kind of sucks. Especially because. Oh. Especially because. This is like the weakest of the first level ones. Knowledge skills aren't super powerful, even with expertise. You're like, I know a thing. It's it's like, uh, it's like that was it. Like, I'm uh, I want to. I like to talk. I know David. I'm sad. I know David. Like, <laughs> I only remember because somebody did a video or um on TikTok. I did a duet video. Like, I'm sad. I know David. Um. Yeah, kind of boring. But if you're going, if, like you're going said, if you're going for having all of the skills, then one level is yeah. Um. So at second level, channel divinity. Sorry, my eyes are very dry. Channel divinity, knowledge of the ages. Starting at second level, you can use your channel divinity to tap into a divine well of knowledge. As an action, you choose one skill or tool. For 10 minutes, you have proficiency with the chosen skill or tool. Not that kind of tool. I'm a tool. Yeah, you are. It's because you know the, it's because you uh, know the pieces fit. And that's important. I know the pieces fit because I watched them fall. Anyway, um, there's a reason I'm not the singer of a band. I, once again, underwhelming. I have to talk to me. Talk, I actually have to discuss something with you. I've been meaning to about music later. Um, considering Channel Divinities come back with short rests and this is um and it lasts for 10 minutes um that's a solid amount of time it's not a minute a minute would be too short um but you could be like um although i don't know what tools you could use besides like thieves tools like congrats you're proficient in thieves tools that's the old artisan tools tools are way too short Right, ten minutes is not uh, a lot of time to to lot of do these, yeah. to do anything really. Um, Maybe a poisoner's kit. No, because you're mixing stuff, to create poisons. Like maybe because you're waiting, but then, but then arguably when you're trying to mix it or do whatever later, you're not proficient anymore. So, 
Yeah, this is great. This is, this is yeah, I know. This is a skill is still useful, you know. Yeah, skills are in my opinion are more useful, but like right. you could do pro with this, we're just not coming up with the right things, honestly. If you have an idea, comment. Um oh, this is coming out in like October, I think. Um no, it's be other September. <laughs> Speaking of tools, no. Um Yeah, sober. I think, unfortunately, I think there's some. There are probably some tools that this could be useful with. There are probably any of the proficiencies, proficiency in athletics, and you need to because you need to climb something, Would, proficiency in, to or jump something, or proficiency in. If a, so there is a musical instrument as a tool, right? Well, yeah, no, mu- instruments are tools. Um, proficiency in. Perception, if you don't already have it, why? Perception in inve- or per- proficiency in investigation. You know, it it could be it's yeah, it's more useful with sp- skills specifically, but if you need a tool, call call Keenan Ghostbusters. Or no, it's Maynard James Keenan. Anyway. Um, this, the amount of the fact that I know a who the lead singer of Tool is is kind of impressive. I mean, to be fair, the only song I know by Tool is "Sober," and I made a joke towards that earlier. Oh well, see, I didn't even know that that was a song. You're good. I think he also like does vocals for a Perfect Circle. I think too. So. Oh no! Did I? Oh god damn! It. Does he? I thought a Perfect Circle was was Leto. That's 30 seconds to summer. Uh, 30 seconds to Mars. Oh, <laughs> you can tell that I don't fucking care. Because it's like, was it five seconds of summer or whatever? Five seconds, yeah. Similar. Two, two similar. We're so really actually... good at this. Well, you know what? You're the musician. So I'm tone deaf, don't know how to play an instrument. You're the musician. I'm listening. So I like it. it's... I'm going to be honest. Jared Leto has like pedophilia... Like shit. Oh, oh, he's so yeah, much. and a cult, and yeah, he's yeah. But he's he's. I can he's, forgive a cult, but he, in my opinion, he has played the best Joker. Okay, so this is the end of this channel <laughs> because this is going to sidetrack. But it's I'll try to keep it short. But essentially, there are only two proper ways to play the. Do you have the Joker in a movie? I am also, for the record, I am not counting Heath Ledger's in this argument, because that is arguably not the Joker, but that is an incredible performance and interpretation of the Joker, especially within the Nolan verse. All of that being said, there are only two proper ways to have the Joker in your movie, in a Batman movie. He is either the only villain in the movie, much like the Riddler was in The Batman, where he was the only actual supervillain. And then he had all the henchmen. Or exactly how Jared Leto was the Joker in the Suicide Squad. He was there for like five, ten minutes, hamming it up, being the Joker, and then fucked off into oblivion for the rest of the movie. Because okay, he so is too important he is too important to the Batman mythos to share any glory with any other supervillain. I can agree with that because it does I mean, him I a disservice. Of- as I think he's, I think he's a crappy villain, but I think that if you're going to have him in a movie, let him just be bonkers for either ten minutes or the whole movie. I personally think that the so I, I'm not a big fan of his Jared Leto uh, Joker, but I think the best part that ever came out of it was a Teen Titans Go scene where they were just doing all the oh, different yeah, fucking right. uh, jokers, and they're like, he, "You're not the fucking Joker." He's been the most comic like accurate. That. Depend hate, like hate me if you want, but I, I, anyway, anyway, we're we're gonna such, I know there's been a million of them, and then there's alternate Earths, and then there's Flash is yeah. the best superhero anyway. That's all that matters. Um, and Universe Captain 56. and Captain Cold is the best Flash villain. Um, I am going to say Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. Well, yeah, because he killed the Ruthier Mount. It's damage. 
I All had right, some so, Captain Crunch French. Great. Cool story, bro. Channel Divinity, read thoughts. At sixth level, you can use your channel divinity to read a creature's thoughts. You can then use your access to the creature's mind to command it. As an action, choose one creature that you can see within 60 feet of you. That creature must make a wisdom saving throw. If the creature succeeds on the saving throw, you can't use this feature on it again until you finish a long rest. If the creature fails its save, you can read its surface thoughts, those foremost in its mind, reflecting its current emotions, and what it is actively thinking about when it is within 60 feet of you. This effect lasts for one minute. During that time, you can use your action to end this effect and cast a suggestion spell on the creature without expending a spell slot. The target automatically fails its saving throw against the spell. This is so stupid. This can be really useful. Yeah, but mind control, not a fan. Yeah, you're right. But to those who aren't upset by mind control, this could be really useful. Who isn't upset by mind control, and how do I get them to never play D&D with me? A lot of people are not upset by mind control. Enchant- At least in D&D. Enchantment, it, enchantment's the most evil school of magic. Prove me wrong. I completely agree. I still have a character that uses strong person. Yeah, which is still terrible. But it's socially acceptable. More socially acceptable than necromancy for some reason. Anyway, not time for this. Plus, I've already done that. My my game's necromancy is fine. I know. No, I totally agree. Good thing. But unfortunately, I'm not playing a necromancer in your game. Um, That's your fault. Yeah, I know. Uh, I I think the best part of this is, as far as messing up somebody's head, is... Because I don't know if read thoughts allows them. I don't know if they know that you're trying to read their thoughts. So if if it's like read thoughts and they don't know, then it it doesn't do anything. But the fact that if they if they succeed on the check, it doesn't say that they know you tried to read their thoughts or mess with their head, essentially. And I like that. Yeah, yeah it's if, not like like friends. Cause since we're going kind of like the mind control aspect, there's where it's like. Almost all of enchantment spells tell you, like, they know that you mess with their head. Yeah. The only one that, the, like- the, the, one of the only abilities that doesn't is the um, enchantment wizard has an ability where they essentially, as long as they concentrate on the ability, you're just stunned and like, oh, you're pretty, for as, however long they decide to maintain it. So it's like a redhead just talking to me. Um, and I like the fact that um, you can cast it's it's solid because once again it's channel divinity you cast suggestion without a spell slot and they fail to save so if you're going into it with a plan it's a very effective use of the ability if they fail the saving throw if they succeed then congrats they don't know you tried it I think that's supposed to be attached to a car How you doing, everybody? Hope you're enjoying the recording. It's very important. Mm. This guy. Yep. So, anyway, level eight, they get potent spellcasting. We've established that potent spellcasting is really good. And then, I'm just gonna keep going without him. Fuck him. Visions of the past. <laughs> Starting at 17th level, you can call up visions of the past that relate to an object you hold on, you hold or your immediate surroundings. You spend at least one minute in meditation and prayer, then receive dreamlike, shadowy glimpses of recent events. You can meditate in this way for a number of minutes equal to your wisdom score, and you must maintain concentration during that time, as if you're casting a spell. Once you use this feature, you can't use it again until you finish a long, short or long rest. Object reading. Holding an object as you meditate, you can see visions of the object's previous owner. After meditation for one minute, you learn how the owner acquired and lost the object, as well as the most recent significant event involving the object and that owner. If the object was owned by another creature in the recent past, within a number of days, you can your wisdom score. 
You can spend one additional minute for each owner to learn the same information about that creature. Jesus Christ, this is so convoluted. Area reading. As you meditate, you see visions of recent events in your immediate vicinity. A room, street, tunnel, clearing, or the like, up to 50 feet. Going back a number of days equals your wisdom modifier. For each minute you meditate, you learn about one significant event, beginning with the most recent. Significant events typically involve powerful emotions, such as battles and betrayals, marriages and murders, births and funerals. However, they might also include more mundane events, as they are nevertheless important in your current situation. This is so stupid. I feel like you just possibly had this uh, occur just now. What? As you, well, you didn't hear any. You didn't hear any of it, but what just happened with pretty much you're just like experiencing something that is completely irrelevant to what you're actually needing. This is such a stupid ability. It can. It, it, could, could, it could. Right. It could be useful. I guess this is one of those like they didn't have really any idea what to do. Right? So they're this like, feels like they had no idea what to do, so they're just like. Meh. I feel like this entire subclass is that so far. They're like, we got to make something, so here you go. Because isn't this in the PHB? Yeah, this is play, play the same book. I feel like, yeah, they're just like, we need to fill something, so here you go. This is terrible. I'm not going to just, this is, it's not bad. It's not garbage. It's just not good, really. I wouldn't it's, personally. It's very it. underwhelming. Unless, unless I'm playing a character that is very lore-driven as a cleric, this I wouldn't play this. Like, none of the abilities, like... I mean, you get it back on a short or long rest, so that's nice. Um, it's not something that I care about, personally. Like, some of it's cool, but... Like, congratulations, you can, uh... Like, you could... With area reading, you could theoretically solve a murder. With object reading, you can find out who owned this. We can, You can find out who lost this, uh, silver penny. Whose wallet is this? Yep. Like, congrats. You're a shitty medium. You're a shitty medium. You're pretty funny. Is this your card? Yeah. I... Um... <laughs> They're definitely not on the cast tonight. You see me. Mm. It's true. Yeah, definitely yeah. not my favorite out of the ones. Not my cup of tea. And they could tell you that it's not my cup of tea because they could do object reading. Very underwhelming. It's which if I, which is funny because my brother played one and just and you know descent into Avernus, the greatest module ever. Sarcasm. Um, so he played like the worst cleric domain in the worst module. Man, my brother's really smart. I hope you watch this, Keenan. You're very smart. Sarcasm. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't like this. This is boring. Yeah, like there, very there, much there are things you can do with it that are interesting, but it seem, it feels too utility. Yeah, it's definitely more role play in my it opinion. It feels like and a too, wizard with a religious a, focus, a, focus. A bad. Um, so a warlock. Um, oh! Got it! Out of nowhere. Boom! Yeah, so... I don't, yeah, I don't care much for it. So. Yeah, I agree. Not my thing. Definitely so far out of the, this is now five of the uh, cleric classes. Not the one, I, this is at the bottom. Especially when you have like the arcana domain. If you're going for a wizard, you have, just take the arcana domain. A wizard at cleric. At least the last four have been decent to where I have possibly considered making a character. I don't think I would make a character with this class. Or with this subclass. Right. Two basilisks out of ten. Just kidding. We should come up with a rating system. We should have long ago come up I with a rating system. Like blank out of basilisks. Two, like two, 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 ba two basilisks out of ten. Although we'd have to... We if just, if it, well, if it's bastions and basilisks, then we have to go, like... It would be like, well, mechanics... Well, bat. Oh, damn it, we're coming up with this live. Bastions would be mechanics. And it's not to come up with it. Bastions can be mechanics, and basilisks can be story or like role playing potential. God, I'm really. Yeah, and then we have 
I'm so smart. <laughs> For mechanics, this is a fucking, I don't know, fucking three out of three basilics. I mean, three bastions and then role play. This seems honestly more role play. I would give this more like this. This isn't even, no, this isn't even that good role play. No, I'd go it the other way. This is mechanically, this is, you know, if we're going out of five each so that it equals 10, I would say this is like a three out of five because mechanically some of these abilities are okay. But it's a situation in which you find yourself in where they're useful. Role playing wise, it doesn't really add anything except for maybe the fact that you gain proficiencies. You know, I really only imagine this being useful in like a lot of role play ability. Honestly, I don't really care for it. Just no, I'm looking at three, house, bastions, so it's like, three, um, three bastions, half a basilisk. Not even worth a full basilisk. Not even a full basilisk. Anyway, so that's not even the bastion. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's the, you have to have yeah the bastions. You can, we can only do a solid amount of bastions, otherwise they collapse. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's just a structure. Yeah, like a structure. It's, 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 um, it. Yeah, so this is the knowledge domain. Not a fan. Um, no. I've been Calvin. I'm disappointed. Oh, okay. So it's Calvin is oh, disappointed. Break. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And now you get to listen to the outro song. And that's the outro song. Yeah.